Hello Isaac, hello Quinn, and hello little baby Gillian and welcome. It's your Auntie Zella here and Glenn doing the filming. I just wanted to send you a couple of poems to uh, entertain you. I'm sure you're getting out and about and doing things, but just in case you're a bit bored with everything that's going on, I thought I'd just send you a couple of little poems. So, um, have you ever been down to a river and listened to the sound that it makes? Have you ever thought that it sounds like a song? Well, this poem's about that. It's called, The River is Singing. The river is Amina's friend. It sings to her, each day a different song. Today, it's a crackly song, a prickly song. Tide tickling in on long, wet fingers to find the spaces between the mud and the stones. Yesterday, it was a fat song, a lazy song, a slow, slippy song, water pearls dripping from ducks' shimmering necks. Sometimes, it's a sharp song, a song of sleek stings and sluices, strikes and slices on the water's silvery surface. As light flattens, it's a chattery song, a starling swoop song, a thousand acrobats diving with breaking wave roar to roost in the reed tops. Other days, it's a swooshing song, a splicing song, giggles gulping, rowers heaving and whoring towards the river's bend and back again. On wet days, it's a soft, speckling rain song, a patter and gush song, hill streams tumbling and twirling in a pebble-dashed race to the river. Amina stands on the bridge to listen, can gauge from the crackle or swoosh if the tide is coming in, smelling of seas and adventures, or stretching out to other shores. The river is Amina's friend. It sings to her each day a different song. So I think you live near the sea, don't you? So you can probably hear the sea singing a song to you. I'd love to hear what sort of song you think it's singing sometime. <laughs> so the next poem I'm going to read you is about a cat. And he's a very naughty cat. And it's called Claude is a very bad cat. Claude is a cat, a very bad cat, a marmalade coloured acrobat. Legs long as strawberry laces and whiskers thick as bread. He's stretchy like a cheese string and bounces on your bed. He pirouettes on rooftops, does backflips down the wall, wriggles into tiny spaces, kung fu's down the hall. He pinches cheese and chocolate like a burglar in the night, a twitch of bad cat power, and he disappears from sight. His crocus yellow stargaze and paws of padded silk mean you probably won't see him till he's drunk up all your milk. He weaves around your ankles. He trips you on the stair. He spits and tears the toilet roll and tangles up your hair. He eats the biscuits from the tin, takes fishes off the side, dribbles down your jumper, leaves the window open wide, torments the dogs and pigeons, yowls brightly at the moon, Walks muddy paws across your floor, is always back too soon. He jumps out from your cupboards, spits feathers, sticks and bone. But when you need a cuddle, you're never on your own. So that's Claude. And as you can hear, we've got a very bad dog. Glenn, can we just show the boys our very bad dog? Cooper, say hello. Say hello to Isaac and to Glenn and to Killian. What Cooper is wanting is for me to throw him his ball. So I'll throw that and he'll be quiet. 
there we go, just for a minute. And me and Glenn will say, should we say, Glenn, should we say goodbye? <laughs> Don't scare them too much. Go around that way. There we go. Have a, a, a lovely weekend. I don't know when I'll see you, but love you lots and keep smiling. Bye. Bye.